Hello everyone and welcome back to the POC Champs Championship. The preliminaries are over and we now enter the knockout phase of the tournament and here we have a, a legendary clash between two uh, legends of the league, uh, Mohamed Abdarman, uh, or better known as Yasso, and uh, of course Voiboy, we already covered one of his games. Uh, and it is quite the game. And I do have to mention, it's probably not easy for Voiboy to play against Yasso uh, on this day as it's Yasuo's birthday. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it's never pleasant uh, facing someone on his birthday when, when you really need to win. Uh, but okay, uh, without further ado, uh, let's check out what happened here. So Voiboy opens with e4 and Yasuo replies with d5. He goes for the Scandinavian defense. Uh, and here, Voiboy doesn't go for e captures on d5, but rather he advances the pawn. And although this is considered an inferior move uh, rather than capturing on d5, uh, it is better uh, because if your opponent just studied up some Scandinavian lines, you will be able to avoid them all by playing e5 and basically uh, trying to get your opponent to play the French, which is what happened here. Uh, so here Yasuo goes e6 uh, and d4 by Voivoy, and we basically transpose into the advanced variation of the French as if white just played e5. So uh, c6, uh, boy, boy, uh, uh, Yasuo closes the center, and now knight to f3. Uh, and here, usually, you would see something like c5. Black usually will waste the tempo here to attack white strong center, uh, and the game continues. However, here Yasuo goes f5, and he creates this uh, sort of a stone wall structure here, uh, which which can be very solid. Uh, and Voibo goes for bishop to g5. Bishop to d3 is a move that is known in this position. However, bishop to g5 is a new move, so already as of move 5 we have a completely new game. So the queen is under attack, you can choose to maybe move it away with queen b6, queen a5 check. However, uh, Yasuo defends, bishop to e7, and Voibo trades here. We have bishop captures, uh, knight captures now, developing, preparing to castle, and Voibo continues development with bishop to d3. Uh, Yasuo castles the safety, we have castles, Voiboy also castles, and now uh, knight to g6. Now the uh, knight is is on a better square, however, it's not going to be easy to go uh, to go somewhere from there. Knight to f4, probably the plan. So knight b to d2 by Voiboy, uh, and here Yasuo doesn't go for knight to f4. It's, uh, it's definitely an, uh, a move to consider, as you would challenge this light square bishop here. Uh, not not all that many squares for this bishop, and you will you will be able to trade it away. But it's hard to make a decision as as long as this uh, position is closed like this, the light square bishop isn't really doing all that much. Uh, and okay, uh, we have b uh, queen to b6 by Yasuo, develops the queen, goes after the b2 pawn, also puts some additional pressure to c5, maybe ideas like knight to d7 followed by c5 attacking the center uh, will be possible. So knight to b3, Voiboy defends the b2 pawn, and now uh, knight to e7, uh, shifting the knight uh, over to the to the other side uh, and preparing g6 to further strengthen the position. Voiboy goes knight to g5 now, and it's an excellent square for the knight. Uh, if black wants to kick it away, he's going to have to further weaken his king side with h6, and it is somewhat problematic uh, to develop. For example, if knight here, then you hang the e6 pawn. Uh, we have g6 uh, as, as planned, and now uh, the thing is, Voiboy can go knight to c5 here, and he can win the e6 pawn. There's no way to defend the pawn. Uh, uh, there's no rook f6, the pawn guards that, and none of the other pieces can defend. However, what I think happened here, why Voiboy didn't go for knight to c5, is because, uh, well, like I said, uh, yesterday was Yasuo's birthday, uh, and the Voiboy mentioned on Twitter, uh, happy birthday, buddy, I'll hang a pawn today as your birthday gift. So, as uh, although this isn't technically hanging a pawn, not going knight to c5, but not grabbing a pawn, Pawn is kind of like taking, not kind of like uh, hanging a pawn, you know, in the opposite way. So I think that's what happened here. So Voiboy just continues developing with queen to f3, with ideas of queen h3 and going for nice queen captures on h7 checkmate. Uh, and Yasuo goes knight to a6. He's not afraid of any threats on the king side. Uh, he adds more pressure to c5, probably wants to play bishop here, rook here, and finally execute this c5 idea. And now, uh, while you can go queen to h3 right away after h5, uh, it's not uh, it's not all that clear how to break through uh, as it is a rapid game. White would be better, however, Voiboy goes uh, for the more straightforward approach with h4. So now he wants to play h5 and bust open the position here. We have bishop to d7, uh, now with ideas of uh, adding more protection to the g6 pawn with bishop to e8, however, it uh, is uh, a bit problematic as the e6 pawn will hang. So here uh, we have h5 uh, continuing with the attack uh, and now uh, while 
While you could go for h6 and kick away the knight, white could ignore you with captures here. And now if you go for the knight, let's say queen here, and it's game over for black. So this doesn't really work for black. So Yasuo instead goes for bishop to e8. Uh, and now, uh, well, now you've, you're basically forcing white to capture on e6. There's nothing better. So uh, he didn't go for it the first time. He didn't go for it the second time, but now he does grab it. So knight captures on e6. And now this rook doesn't have all that many squares to go to. Yasuo goes rook to f7, but now h captures on g6. We have h captures on g6, and now uh, not rushing with any sort of kingside attack. Voivoy Vol plays a calm move. Uh, he plays a3 on the queen side, takes away the b4 square from Yasuo's knight. So first, uh, taking away any counterplay from black before continuing with his actual attack. Uh, with his actual attack. Uh, a, a very Karpovian move of Voivoy. So rook to h7, uh, now taking uh, taking control of the h file, and now knight to g5, forcing the rook back. So rook to h8, and now g3. A g3 is actually an attacking move. What Voiboy is planning to do here is king g2, followed by rook to h1, and mobilize uh, his rooks along the h file here. Maybe trade off one of black's rooks, and then bring the other rook uh, in, in to the h file to help out with the attack. So bishop back to d7, black wants to connect the rooks here and somehow get the king into the game. However, it's not easy. The knight covers f7 and the pawn covers this. So it's uh, it, it's very hard to, to try and find a way with the king. You would probably need to hide the king all the way to c7, bring the rook into the game and play king b8 uh, to, to actually be safe here. And now Voiboy doesn't allow Yasuo to connect rooks. No bros for life this game. So e6 uh, pushes the bishop back, bishop to c8 and now... Well, uh, you could continue with king g2 and rook h1, which was the original plan. Now Voiboy goes straight for the kill with g4. He wants to bust open the position here as he has a nice triple attack on the f5 pawn. So uh, while you could do a lot of things here, for example, queen to c7 is very interesting by Asso going for that uh, checkmate on h2. Uh, it's not uh, it's not much, but uh, you might you might force an exchange of queens after queen to g3, where white will still be better, uh, as he did grab a pawn and he controls more space. But you've slowed down the attack, so queen to c7 was a very interesting idea here. However, uh, Yasuo goes for a more defensive approach. He goes for king to f8, and he now wants to uh, hide his king all the way, uh, all the way to the queen side. And Voibo now goes for g captures. Uh, we have g captures and the bishop captures and now Yasuo doesn't want to uh, do more captures because after captures captures uh, the, the king is in check and you are uh, well very quickly getting either checkmated or you will suffer severe material loss so let's say king d8 e7 check king here you bring a queen into the game now with uh, a discovered check after king moves you can pick up a rook and now you have two queens and the black has uh, well still has problems developing his pieces so after bishop captures on f5, we have king to e8, uh, Yasuo still uh, runs away with the king, still wants to hide it, uh, but now bishop to g6 check, Voiboy sacrifices a piece here, uh, well it's a temporary piece sacrifice, if captures then queen f7 check you can just pick it up, uh, however Yasuo continues fleeing with the king, king to d8. So uh, a very nice king march. Now trying to find the safety here uh, on c7, maybe on b8. However, we have knight to f7 check. A nice fork by Voiboy, uh, checking the king, attacking the rook here. We have king to c7. And now uh, Yasuo is, of course, uh, hoping for uh, knight captures rook on h8. But maybe there's a better move in the position. So feel free to pause the video and try to find the winning idea for Voiboy uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations uh, on spotting that it's actually mate in one. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's queen to g3 checkmate or uh, queen uh, to f4, which is what Voivod played, and this is now checkmate. As the pawn covers this, the knight covers these two squares, the queen covers this, and of course the king has nowhere to go. Uh, but if you, if you decide to capture the rook, that is also winning, but it's always important to finish the game as soon as possible, and, it, and it's also way cooler. So yeah. Uh, Voiboy delivers checkmate and uh, this is how game one ended. In game two, uh, Yasuo had his uh, opportunity to, to bounce back, however he, he blundered a piece uh, and Voiboy was also able to win the second game, so it's uh, Voiboy who uh, who proceeds uh, to, to, the, to the upper stage uh, of, of the POC Champs Championship. So yeah, a really, really an impressive game. Excellent attack by Voiboy. He didn't go for that uh, e6 uh, pawn with knight to c5, like we mentioned. Uh, so, as so, he did uh, fulfill uh, his, his uh, you know uh, prediction uh, of the birthday th tweet. 
uh, and this is this is the the end result so great game by both of them congratulations guys and once again happy birthday Yasuo uh, and uh, congratulations to Voiboy Boy on, on winning the match and uh, yeah something you always need to be careful of when you're playing the Scandinavian uh, of course uh, White will play e captures on d5 like 90% of the times, but sometimes White will advance the pawn to e5, and you'll all, always have to uh, have a line prepared for that when this happens, as it's very hard. If you're not comfortable playing any sort of closed uh, French positions, then this will be a problem for you. I myself started playing the the Scandinavian some uh, one year ago, and uh, I found it very very disturbing when someone advanced the pawn even though it's considered an inferior move i didn't enjoy it so i had to learn uh, a few lines uh, for when that actually happens so maybe it may be a nice uh, nice advice for you to use and also today is my birthday and uh, i will have a, a nice birthday stream maybe in, in some three hours after i upload this video but i, I will notify you on my uh, social media and maybe just maybe there will be a, a special surprise guest uh, but that's all i'm going to mention so yeah, uh, that's uh, the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Russell Light, Poster Andre, and Matthew Baker, Doug McNabb, and Brian Stube for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the POC champs, checking up on your wonderful suggestions, and whatever else happens in the chess world. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day. And I will put Voiboys and Yasuo's uh, chess.com username in the description below so you can challenge them uh, if you feel so. Uh, see you soon, guys.